everyone and welcome to Ready, Set, Go! Kindergarten. My name is Emily and together with my friend Angela and everyone else here at the Edmonton Public Library, we have put together some online classes for preschoolers that teach some great skills for starting kindergarten and that are also lots of fun too. We hope that you and an adult will follow along, sing songs, dance around with us. As with all our classes, remember to be safe, have fun, and go with the flow. So let's get started by singing a hello song. All right, so we're gonna be clapping, maybe moving our hands a little bit, stamping our feet, dancing around. So let's make sure we have enough room around us so that we're not bumping into anything. And when we go to kindergarten, there might be lots of our friends around us, so we wanna make sure we don't bump any of them. Okay, we're gonna sing. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you stretch down low? Can you turn around? Can you wave hello? Good job, let's do that again. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you stretch down low? Can you turn around? Can you wave hello? Good job, everyone. All right, so today our topic is all about water. We're going to be talking about oceans and rivers and ponds and all that kind of stuff. I love living in Edmonton because we have a big, beautiful river that flows right through the city. It's called the North Saskatchewan River. Frogs can live in or near ponds, lakes, or rivers. So why don't we sing a song about frogs? All right, so we're going to be singing Five Green Speckled Frogs. Listening is a really important part of singing. So listen and watch really close so you can sing along with me and follow the actions. This is gonna be our frogs and they're gonna be sitting on a log. Okay, ready? Five green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's only one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sits on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. They jump into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Good job. Okay, we are gonna sing it again but we're gonna be adding some twists and turns into the song. So we're gonna sing the first verse. It means the, kind of like the first part, just like we did before. Okay, ready? How many frogs do we have? Back to five. Five green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Okay, now we're gonna sing as fast as we can. This is called changing the tempo. 
Four green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now we have only three green speckled frogs. Good job. All right, now let's slow it down. We're going to change the tempo, but this time going slow. Three green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Good job. Right now we're gonna change the pitch. We're gonna change it and go really high. That means we're gonna sing as high as we can. Two green and speckled frogs sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Ooh, I don't know that I'm very good at that, but that's okay. Now we're gonna try changing the pitch and making our voice low. One green and speckled frog sit on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. They jump into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. <laughs> Good job. You can tell I'm not a professional singer, but I have so much fun singing anyways. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to read a book. So, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. All right, now we're getting ready for a story. We are sitting crisscross applesauce, and the next thing we have to do is give five. So, one, we have our eyes watching, watching the person at the front who's reading the story. Two, we have our ears listening. We're gonna practice those really good listening skills and focusing on the person at the front. Three, our mouths are closed. At kindergarten, you might have lots of people around, lots of friends. It would be really hard to listen if everyone was talking at the same time. So we're gonna keep all of our mouths closed except for the person reading the story. Four, our hands are still. We can have them in our lap, on our knees. And five, our feet are quiet. So are we stomping around? No, we're keeping our feet nice and quiet, our body is calm and quiet, and we're focused on the story. Over and Under the Pond by Kate Mesner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there? I ask. Under the pond? Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass, while a brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away, splash, gurgle, sploosh under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Kuklari! Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. 
There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond, we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster-fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and minks stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto shore as a far-off loon calls goodnight. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond, the prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turned frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons, and the hidden world under the pond. That was a really good story. That was really good listening. I think I'm ready to stand up and move around a little more. So let's do that. Stand up in your spot. We are standing up. We're ready for our next song. This is called Bubble Bubble Pop. Let's do a little bit of color review before we get started. We're going to meet all the characters we're going to be singing about. So first, we have one red fish. Then we have two, what color are those fish? Blue fish. Three yellow fish. Red, blue, and yellow. Those are primary colors. All right, our next fish we're going to meet are four orange fish, five green fish, and six purple fish. Let's see, orange, green, and purple. Those are secondary colors. All right, are you ready to get singing now that we've met everyone? So we're going to sing. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! What's next? Four. Four little orange fish swimming in the water, Swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! Five little green fish swimming in the water. Swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! We only have one more. Six little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Six little purple fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! Good job, everyone. Did you know that singing something can help you remember it? 
How about the ABCs, the alphabet song? I bet you can remember your alphabet best when you're singing it. I know I do. The last activity we have for you today is actually a take home activity. It's a coloring puzzle. But before we do that, why don't we wash our hands? In kindergarten, you might be washing your hands between each activity before you go home and sometimes when you get home. So we're going to sing tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between in between wash and wash and wash them wash and wash and wash them nice and clean nice and clean to make sure our hands are really clean let's do that one more time tops and bottoms tops and bottoms in between in between wash and wash and wash them wash and wash and wash them nice and clean nice and clean good job okay we're ready for the take home activity so we are doing a coloring sheet puzzle here we have a nice big fish and some shells so you can color in the page and decorate however you want then we're going to cut the page along the lines you can ask an adult for help but if you have your own scissors this is great practice cutting just make sure it's okay with your grown-up then you can mix all the pieces up and then try to put them all back together. If you don't have a printer, that's okay. Just draw your own picture on a blank piece of paper. Use some ocean things like shells and fish, frogs, whatever you like. Then you can cut it up into pieces and then try putting it back together. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. Now we're gonna sing our goodbye song. So we're gonna say, teddy bear, teddy bear, Turn around, teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground, teddy bear, teddy bear, stretch up high, and teddy bear, teddy bear, wave bye bye. Check out the activity sheet that goes along with this video and find more information about EPL and early literacy at epl.ca. Thanks everyone.